All right, so now what we're going to do is kind of look at what the next chapter is going to be ahead of time. The next chapter is going to be all about mapping and how to get those maps out. But first I want to kind of show you what this is going to look like in Maya. Because remember, uh, this thing is very high res. It's uh, exactly uh, all together with all the parts is 5 million, but just this head is 2.28. So 2.28 in Maya is just undoable. You, you can't do that unless, and I, I don't think you can even do it with a fast machine, to be honest with you. I've never seen a machine. There might be some guy out there that has like a, a machine that could handle some weird thing like that. But I don't have one. <laughs> so we're going to take and export this to Maya. What that means is um, we're going to export this one. And to get it the full effect, we're going to be color using color later on. So for right now, I'm just going to make a new texture, but I'm going to rely on 2048 mapping. So I'm just going to make it like a white texture for right now. I have to make this because a texture has to be in place for the displacement map to work. Okay, so we're going to just do an adaptive displacement map for right now. and create displacement map. This has to be at the lowest level of subdivide in order for this to work. Just by clicking adaptive it just makes a very quick and dirty uh, displacement map. If you want quality, well the next chapter is all about the quality, but you rank this all the way up to 4 and then it'll, it'll give you a higher quality displacement map. So what you're now looking at is the displacement map on top of the low geometry and how that looks. And you can play around with the intensity if you want to. I, I, I don't recommend doing this, so don't, but for, for right now, uh, you can play with that later. Here's the normal map. I'm going to take off smooth UV. Notice I didn't do smooth UV here, so I wouldn't do smooth UV here. I will do adaptive, just like I did over here. And I want a tangent based normal map. And I'm going to create that normal map. All right, so with our three maps in place, remember color is going to be handled later on. We're just going to go into Go Z real quick. Hit continue. It's going to look at these other sub tools, but it's going to say, well, you know, this is not what you wanted. You just want the skull. Okay, we'll put the skull in. Pretty soon I should see a dancing Maya. I'll import it into the other one. So let me let me make a new scene in Maya. You can't see that yet. That's the next chapter. So notice it automatically populates Maya in the textures and makes a new material. Again, I'll get into this in the next chapter, but that's a very nice thing for it to do. And that's some of the mapping. And lastly, the skull itself is located here. Six on the keyboard will reveal this in Maya. And 
very nice very very nice and it's because of the the adaptive version of the map I get some of this stuff going on so that that stuff goes away pretty easy if I select the other one another way to get rid of some of this also is to make sure all your levels are kind of the same so you're going to be smoothing across the levels like this one right here again all covered in the next chapter but this is really nice if you can get a read value from like back here on it let me show you what this is made of it's 558 poly uh, if I go here you can see that that the very low low res and if I do one of these numbers to it if I actually render this out with mental ray and a quality of production put it on side here you can see a lot of that worked its way out anyway so now the teeth are really bumpy that groove actually goes in this folds in on itself a little bit and yeah so the displacement map carries through and certainly I could add even more detail than that if I wanted to you're kinda at the mercy of a 2048 map so what I usually generally do is make everything super contrasty and it'll come out uh, really nice in Maya if you don't do that usually it just you can put all the detail you want in the world in there like micro fine detail but it's not going to come through because you're you're actually at the mercy of the resolution of your map to carry that over all right so that's just a preview of kind of what the next chapter is about so go into the next video where i can give you your assignment